This video will cover an introduction to the 7th edition of APA Citation Style. We will focus on formatting a paper. We'll talk about fonts, spacing, headers, and how to set up your title page and reference list page. The 7th edition of APA format has distinctions between student papers and professional papers. Students should use the student version unless requested otherwise by your instructor. We'll talk about the student version of APA papers here. Papers in APA format include sans serif fonts such as 11 point Calibri, 11 point Arial, or 10 point Lucida sans Unicode. Papers can also include serif fonts such as 12 point Times New Roman, 11 point Georgia, or 10 point Computer Modern. In general, double space all parts of an APA style paper. Don't add extra space before or after paragraphs. Use one inch margins on every side of the page. Align the text of an APA style paper to the left margin and leave the right margin uneven. Indent the first line of each paragraph a half inch from the left margin. This is automatically done in word processing programs or you may use the tab key. Let's start formatting the title page of your paper. Insert a page number in the top right corner of your header. In Microsoft Word, go to Insert, Page Number, Top of Page, and select Option 3, which shows the number on the right. You could also double-click the top of the page, which has an option for inserting a page number. In Google Docs, go to Insert, Page Numbers, and select the option that shows the number at the top right of every page. The page number is the only required part of the header. Student papers do not need to include a running head unless requested by your instructor. The main part of the title page includes the paper title, author name and affiliation, course, instructor, and the paper due date. The paper title should be placed three to four lines down from the top of the title page. Center it and type it in bold font. Capitalize major words of the title. Place one double space blank line between the paper title and the author name. Center your name on its own line. On the next line, write the author affiliation, which is the department name and name of the college separated by a comma. Next is the course number, colon, course name. Then list the name of the instructor. The last line on the title page is the assignment due date. All of these lines should be double spaced. On the next page, include the title of the paper again, centered and in bold at the top of the page. Then begin your paper. At the end of your paper, the reference list will be on the last page. At the top of the page, the word references will be bold and centered. References are listed alphabetically by the first item that appears in each citation. References will be double spaced with no extra spaces between each one. Also, each reference has a hanging indent. This means that the first line of each reference starts at the left margin. If the reference continues onto additional lines, those lines are indented a half inch. Word processing programs usually don't allow for the additional lines to be indented using the tab key, so you will need to select the hanging indent option. In Microsoft Word, select the lines that you want to indent, then go to line and paragraph spacing. Go to line spacing options, then under Indentation, Special, select Hanging. In Google Docs, again select the lines that you want to indent, then go to Format, Align and Indent, Indentation Options, and under Special Indent, select Hanging. For more information on formatting a paper in APA Citation Style, you might refer to the APA Style website and Purdue OWL, the online writing lab from Purdue University. These websites provide more details, including APA sample papers. Remember that librarians are available to assist you during all open hours. Please don't hesitate to contact us.